step onto a metro train and WMATA asks you to follow the rules. But now a WUSA 9 investigation uncovers the Metro Rail doesn't always follow its own rules to keep riders and employees safe. Yeah, tonight our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack looks into the ongoing safety concerns of the region's largest public transit system in this special report, Tracking Metro. Doors open. With ridership down two thirds from pre pandemic levels, WMATA is struggling to get its system back on track. Now, WUSA 9 has uncovered Metro Rail may have an entirely new set of safety problems to correct. They include allegations by the Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission that Metro Rail issued track safety clearance to people who didn't meet WMATA's own training standards. That WMATA put rail cars into service that didn't meet its own safety protocols. And that WMATA did not even follow its own investigative procedures after a series of what's known as train overruns in November. A train overrun is when the conductor overshoots the proper stopping point of one of these metro rail stations, either because of speeding, inattention, or a mechanical issue, potentially increasing the chances of a catastrophic collision. In the case of these train overruns, WMSC says metro rail deliberately ignored its own newly implemented safety procedures, which requires it to immediately remove the train and conductor from service to try and figure out what happened and most importantly, prevent against additional train overruns. In a nutshell, Metro said that, that if they were following their written procedures, it could be confusing and uh, we didn't think that comported with logic. David Mayer is the head of the WMSC. The trend of Metro not following its written procedures is not new. In fact, WMSC's latest findings come on the heels of its 13th safety audit of Metro Rail in the past three years. In that report released in April, WMSC found that Metro Rail has, quote, a culture that accepts non-compliance with written operational rules, instructions, and manuals. The audit also identified safety risks due to inadequate training, knowledge, certification, or oversight requirements. Metro Rail was forced to pull 72 train operators out of service because they weren't properly certified. And WMSC says Metro Rail is in the process of implementing other corrective actions required to address the issue. This is a red line train. We want to avoid any kind of a safety event, and we certainly want to avoid any sort of a catastrophic event where we may have people get killed or injured. WMATA told WUSA 9, quote, safety is not static and involves continuous improvement to review, design, train, and oversee the effective implementation of our Metro Rail rules. Adding, Metro is committed to ensure compliance with all procedures and recently began implementing a comprehensive safety management system. Should Metro Rail fail to follow through with those fixes, WMSC can take action, including fines or, in extreme cases, halting operations like it did with those 7000 series trains. Now, those trains are slowly being reintegrated into the system after WMATA came up with a new system of checks and balances to ensure they're safe. Eric Flack, WUSA 9. Okay, we should point out, despite the problems it continues to uncover at Metro Rail, WMSC believes overall Metro Rail is safe to ride. It adds the ongoing safety monitoring is aimed at preventing future accidents.